so this custom mom is back after a long long time i remember when i used this custom mom it was so good previously but it's been a long time but yes a lot of custom homes are coming back with the latest android 14 and this room is also here which custom home which we are talking about in this one is a pixel star os and it's also one of those pixel based custom homes which brings you pixel kind of ui some pixel features inbuilt and alongside with that some cool kind of customizations and features it's not a customization hub this custom home the name is pixel star still brings you some useful features which you can use on a device in a on daily day-to-day -day basis actually so let's find out some of the things which are included here and make sure to watch this video till the end first one is if you move on to the network and internet option you will find private dns option which is of course quite good available in many custom homes but one thing is quite interesting one here as you can use cloudflare dns or any other custom dns you want to but you have the option for disable for vpn that's quite cool i did not saw this feature yet on any other device any other custom home yet as you can see disable the private dns when connected to a vpn so that's a very very useful feature unfortunately not present in many custom homes but i'm just hoping that it will be available soon but for now yes this is one of the first features which you are definitely going to get in pixel star os so check it out second one is the option in this cloud media app i found this feature in x story i guess evolution x os that was and it was so good as you can see access your cloud media when an app or website asks you to select photos or videos for example in my case if i have google photos installed if i open telegram and want to send a picture to anyone i can choose photos or videos directly from google photos directly from telegram this is what you can say cloud media app and you have to choose that from the settings another one is system haptics so you can control the system haptics according to you for every kind of thing for example brightness slider haptics intensity edge scrolling haptics and in haptics intensity so you have the option to choose for quick send tile haptics or volume slider haptics and some more things that's quite interesting it's available in some other custom homes too and so as in this custom home because we are talking about pixel star so the useful features what you need in a custom home are quite impressively present here you have to check them out for sure refresh rate also have the new menu and it's available in some other custom homes too you can select between your device of course 60 90 120 whatever you are using you also have the option for adaptive refresh rate and i found this feature is available in many other custom homes too so as in this custom room you can choose if you want to use the adaptive refresh rate this might be a good choice for you might not be so it's optional in my case i don't use it at all because i want to use force 120 hertz refresh rate because i'm using a device which gives me 120 hertz refresh rate irrespective of the battery backup we have some options related to theming for example the option related to custom fonts kind of some cool fonts available like circular std mandrop or one plus kind of fonts are also included here some icon shape options are present some icon pack options are present I mean almost everything in the terms of theming some useful things are present here it's not a customization focused custom home like other custom homes we have evolution x os ancient os etc etc which matrix os is also one of them brings you every kind of customization you need so if you need more customization try out those kind of things but in this case you only have some few of the popular things available in somewhere too theming options are already there this is about the appearance or the options like fonts theming etc but one thing is if you move on to the customization section it brings you it actually brings you some useful customization for example in the terms of brightness slider you have the option to choose the brightness slider to place the brightness slider at bottom or simply back to the top we also have the option for network speed indicator some options here which you can tweak according to your own preference data usage style is also a good one one thing which is uh, quite impressive here is the voltivo wi-fi icon i don't have a sim card installed right now but voltivo wi-fi icons are present here like not most of the pixel based custom rooms bring you this one we have also have the option for spoofing and one thing is quite quite impressive that we have the option to spoof the snapchat which is absolutely incredible i did not found this feature any other custom home yet at least while making this video you can spoof your device as pixel 2 
for Snapchat to allow original quality captures. To be very honest with you, I have not tried out this feature yet, so I'm not exactly sure if it will work or not, but I guess it should work. And if it is working fine, that's it. It is quite insane because it's not available in any other custom mode, at least while making this video. Moving on to the security and privacy options, you will find same kind of options there like auto confirm, unlock, you can choose your fingerprint, face unlock, etc. More security and previous uh, privacy options. You also have the option for this ignore window secure flags, which is quite good. We also have the option for hiding the developer status, which is quite good in some of the cases for sure. And as expectedly, app log is also present. Uh, in the starting of the video, I said that this is not a customization or feature focused custom home, but in reality, it is. It is bringing you almost every kind of feature or customization you need on your device as a daily ba on a daily basis. And the app locker is working fine here. Hide from launcher is there. Almost everything what you need. Most of the things are present here. I guess 90% of the things are absolutely available there. In case this custom home is available for your device, you definitely have to check this out at least once on a device. Moving on to the navigation mode options. Here we have some interesting things too. You have, have the option for choosing the immersive navigation in case you want to and the option for haptic feedback gesture indicator. The exact thing which is hiding the IME space that's not present here. Immersive navigation is a different thing but that hide IME space option is a little bit different thing. So unfortunately that's not present. Uh, it was kind of expected it's not there but still some things are available there and i guess in the next update you might get the hide ime space option too so yes it's quite cool so most of the things which i just wanted to let you know i have already shared with you this was all about this custom room which is quite good quite impressive so far because i tried this custom room after a long long time i guess it's available after a long time so the results are quite impressive so far things are looking good performance is quite good on my device and i'm using it on pixel on my poco f5 and if it is available for your device officially unofficially you can still check it out if it is not available yet you can check out on in your device community and ask your developer to make at least one build for the for you because you have to check it out for once these were the things i just wanted to let you know if you like this video don't forget to drop a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe the channel because a lot of custom home videos are already coming from a long time are coming right now and will come to you in future for sure for almost every kind of custom home which is available in the, on the internet or in the community so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one until then take care